Hi, my name's Jonathan Hicks. We're back at the Dice Cup, and I'm joined by Mark and Andy of Ford Photo. And we've just finished playing HMS Dolores. It's a little 20 minute filler. It's uh, Bruno Perduti and Eric Lang, so some big names for such a little game. And the way it works is it's like a cross between Rock, Paper, Scissors and The Prisoner's Dilemma. So each round, well, each kind of turn, two of you face off with these cards. So you draw the cards and you turn them over. And the cards are in suits which go by colour. And for this blue card, for instance, it could be a one or a two or a three. So different possible numbers. And those cards in this case are on Mark's side and these cards are on my side. And then we do one, two, three. And you either both go peace. And if you both pick peace, you just split them. So you get your half and he gets his half. But if one of you goes fight, the fight player gets them all and the peace player gets nothing. But the interesting thing is you can go thumbs up, which means pick. And if you go thumbs up and they go peace, you get to pick one and then they get their side. If, they, if you go thumbs up and they go fight, you get to pick one and then they get everything. But if you both go thumbs up, then you get nothing. And not only that, you lose all the cards that you've got so far from one suit. So that would just get wiped. The other interesting thing is how final scoring goes. So you're trying to collect these sets of cards by doing the prison dilemma, dilemma thing. And at the end of the game, you add up all the points from each of your suits, but then you only score your highest scoring suit and your lowest scoring suit. So having lots of suits, like Andy managed to get here, can actually be quite bad because most of those don't score any points at all. All right, thoughts, Mark? Yeah, it kind of just did, it was just rock, paper, scissors with a scoring element to score over. It was fun. I'd need, to, I mean, I'd probably play it again purely because it's quick and there's not much, not much rules to it. It's obviously very cutthroat, so it depends on who you play with, but there's nothing wrong with it. I'm, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very, very light. <laughs> very, yeah. very light. It's all right, it's, but it's rock, paper, scissors with some scoring attached. Okay, Andy? Yeah, it's quite a quick, light game. Um, I think some of the subtlety to it is going for the cards you want and trying to persuade. There's meant to be a bit more discussion in the game that we played, I think, um, where you sort of where you only want to go for the card, you only want to get the cards you want, or try and gauge the what the your opponent will do, what they will pick whether they'll go fight, peace or pick and choose accordingly. Sometimes backstabbing them, which is um, a, an element of the game. It's sort of, it's, yeah, I quite like this. It's quite a fun, light game. Okay, rating out of 10? Uh, I'd give this about a 7, 7.5. Okay, Mark? Yeah, I think I'd give it 6, I think, at the moment. It's probably just not my sort of thing, but it's, it's alright for what it is. Okay. Yeah, I've got to be honest, I didn't like this one. As Mark said, it's just too light. There just aren't enough interesting decisions for me personally. I just felt it was all a bit random. I won significantly, but didn't feel like I did anything great to get to that position. But if you just want a nice quick filler with nothing much to think about and a bit of that sort of social deduction and backstabbing, it does its job very well, just not for me. I'd probably gone a five, I think, for this one. All right, that was HMS Dolores.